Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 12 of Girls Band Cry. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <gasps> Look how cute they are! Oh! I'm so proud. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But remember, you still have to pay taxes on it. Yeah, you, you have to read everything. There are is always conditions. Huh? <laughs> that or maybe you have to go into the military or something. Obviously, just like with any other job. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, yes, Nina, I totally get that. But remember, you're not as big as DD. DD has more fan base and everything. You're still small. Nothing's wrong with being small, but you need to be up in that percentage of being more and more talked about. Mm hmm. Damn. 
my fucking hair. I swear to God. Okay, you know what? Here. Here. There. Better. Move to the fucking side. Jesus Christ. Right? Yeah. As an adult, we can drink anytime we want. Snooze, you lose, child. Nice hair. Right? So you need to know. Yep. Okay. When you're ready.
Now, let's say this was the beat for this song. I'm already loving it. Okay, hold on. Let me just say something real quick. The way Momoka just got angry about that, do I feel like she's going back to her old ways? There is a possibility. I still don't think she's going to leave the group and such because she, she put her heart her heart and soul into this. And the way that, you know, her and Nina just synchronize, they connect so freaking much. So there's, there's no way in hell that's happening. And that's okay. That could be good or bad. Mm -hmm. Valentine's Day battle. Because we already know what the outcome's gonna be, Nina. It's gonna be DD. Exactly. Right? Exactly. It's the same thing in a freaking job application or interview. The one who's more experienced will always win than someone who's the least amount of experience. Why is someone going to take time out on you when they can take someone else? I hate that I just said that too. I'm sorry. okay for her to ask. You might not recover.
Yep. Got to be a little more realistic. Nina. The family again. I get that. I'm scared too. No.
Voilà. That's good. <sighs> this is the one thing that we all hate about just when you put your work out there and you think your work is one of the best things and then the views I should know because, okay, if we want to look at, like, my whole history of me and my YouTube journey, I think my biggest series that I have done that, of course, is not on this channel. I don't even have the, the videos anymore because your girl wasn't smart and never saved all copies of her videos, which I wish I did because... I would have had them still, and now I don't. They're on the internet. That's the good thing. They're only um they're only on Billy Billy and Nico Nico. Um, I would say, in my opinion, what was the biggest impact series that got me a lot of fans? Mainly was like anything, any show that was popular. But if I could give one, and there's one, and I haven't watched the show in a long time, um, it's Kimono Friends. That one was like that shot me out into like being hella freaking popular um to get my name out there even more and such and then uh, leading the way up to before that first channel got deleted I got to be to be accomplished to get to 10k which I am still thankful for to this day that's why when I look at this channel and I see that 5k do I get upset maybe a little bit and such but I know I'm going to get back there and such and I'm still okay with it I think a lot of people who I have talked to my mom my dad friends and other people and such when we talk about the views and such and how like something like Kimono Friends I was getting like maybe a thousand to like three four five k and stuff and then there are other series where i can get maybe like smaller than that um i think my smallest series that i've ever done including stuff up until now maybe is like whisper me a love song maybe everything that i'm currently doing as of now and such does that get me upset no because of the fact is everybody has the own their own particular series that they like the same thing of underrated and stuff do i think i'm underrated yes i do i mean because once again we're in a dot where <laughs> my words i'm fucking up where uh, i'm in a thing once again where yes it is very male dominated it's been like that for the longest time because even when i was doing um like before i did anime reactions and everything i was doing kingdom hearts news um and information stuff 
that was very male dominated because it's like okay like yeah you got all these guys on here and they're like okay they all know their shit they've honed their craft they have their audience and stuff yes you have a little bit of girls like here and there but because there is this stigma of girls who don't play video games and stuff and now it's becoming more popular like oh shit yeah girls play video games oh my god it's kind of the same thing with anime where it's like no 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 girls don't watch fucking anime like no they're not into that shit and such but it's like i i do i have i've watched it ever since i was a fucking kid and it's like why do i need to prove to like so many people not all guys not all girls but just people in general that i have seen so many things and, and such that's why like okay when you when new people come into my channel of course that first video is all the animes that i've reacted to up until i've started in 2016 and then everything else from that video up until now is all the brand new ish and stuff um and everything but i ha the last time i got questioned freaking question and stuff was a while ago i don't like it when people want to like question me on um how much i know about anime i think that's the the, the most dumbest thing in the world it, it doesn't, at the end of the day, it doesn't fucking matter and such. But, yeah, like, all my views, and even for, like, their views, 103, that's not bad. You're still, you, it's a small audience. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, if they have, like, a thousand followers, or even three to five, or even 5K, like me. And, yes, if you're still getting, like, a hundred views to maybe some of the some some series and some videos like because I, I have looked sometimes i'll check from time to time there could be like one video and a, a, a series that i do like it's like a thousand and i'm like what the heck did that do to get a thousand and such um i remember like i used to like when i was streaming on my old channel and stuff like i would have like 20 people in a stream I now it, it depends because you never really know because there are certain games that people are into and then there are certain games people are not into and that is okay that's the same thing with the freaking series so I, I will always tell someone especially when they get into this never look at um the the view count don't look at the situations of people with comments and everything whether there are comments or not do not get in your head into this because when I started I definitely got in my head a lot I questioned myself a lot and I mean a lot a lot before I finally found out I was like okay yeah I like reacting to anime I love it because it's my thing and and everything and I love making videos I like the, the hardest thing will always be is your first 100 su subscribers I I will like I will die on a hill for that. That is, it's the most challenging thing to do. And getting those first 100 all those years ago in 2016 when I started was the hardest thing of my life. I, I think there was a moment where I almost said I wanted to quit because I was getting backlash. Pe there were some people who didn't like me, some people who did. Um, one minute we would be, I would take so many steps forward and stuff. And then maybe sometimes like something I did say, um, possibly unsubscribe from someone. And then it would feel like I would take a thousand steps back and I would never catch up. So I, I get it. I definitely get how Nina is just like all this thing, all this preparation that we did, all this hard work that we've done was this all for nothing and such. And I don't want her to feel super duper upset about that because I have been, I, I think anyone who's done YouTube is, and who still does YouTube, it's still a doggy dog world. The one thing that I really dislike now about YouTube is mainly due to the fact of, um, essentially, when you have to change with, um, the, the situation of everything. You have to do this, you have to do that and such. And so that's how, like, the view count are is very much like different sometimes like it because it, it, it'll be a little bit weird I, i'm rambling on this i'm gonna be done in a few. <laughs> um i i hate when it's also like not only with like your subscribers when you're dealing with something and 
one minute you have you always tell your subscribers like one make sure to like turn on notifications and x y and z and then for some odd reason youtube will turn those off like for the like the last week my comments on some of my videos have been turned off for some weird reason and they're trying to like change all that that i am like oh i'm referenced for little kids no I, <laughs> do my videos seem like for kids no oh my god and that's why i always put in every single one of my videos not for children like please please know that and such like god dang it like no it's never been and it never has been so please don't so it, YouTube has just been acting very weird in the last couple of years and such. And so hopefully maybe there is a moment or, and that's, that's also another reason why people are doing what the way they're doing. They're like trying to branch away from YouTube and just suddenly either go on Patreon full time and such and still upload on YouTube with everything. But you never really know. It's just a complicated life in the entertainment industry. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. But other than that, guys, that is the reaction to episode 12 of Girls Van Cry. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the final episode. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.